Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product and you can see uh, this is Kinkoni TR and this module that used for convert uh, sensor to IS485 mode bus protocol for long distance so in this video I will show you the details and how it works okay let's look at this is Kinkoni TR module as you can see this module is convert the sensor to mode bus protocol and for long distance because this time you can see that's used for IS485 and this is for power supply 12 or 24 volt and this you can see uh, W1 to W2, W4, W3 uh, that support max uh, four sensor uh, temperature and humidity sensor and this is USB-C for download the firmware for ESP32 S3 and this is 3 volt uh, for the sensor and this module also support install on the ding loop. and you can see uh, you can support install on the ding loop. and uh, let's look at uh, this PCB inside and you can see uh, this is a PCB and this is removable socket and this is removable and this is a back PCB back and this is ESP32 S3 and this is fridge shell so much fridge shell that have, uh, you can use it on the PCB board and the reset button and download the button for ESP32 and uh, the USB-C for download the firmware okay let's look at how it works uh, in KCS system and uh, you can see it here and this is King Kong AIO hybrid uh, actually you can use any King Kong relay controller that have IS485 interface and you can see this is King Kong TR I have connect with the 3 DS18B20 temperature sensor at here actually you can connect with the DHT11 or DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor uh, this you can see I have connect with the sensor and this I have connect with the power supply uh, this I have connected 12 volt power supply also you can use the 24 volt and this one you can see A, B is IS485 I have connected with this AIO board uh, but this cable can use for long distance max support 1000 meter so it's enough for your IoT project for long distance uh, 1 kilometer because it's IS485 and this is the structure it's very easy just connect with the sensor and connect with the IS485 cable so that this box will extend for long distance and after you have connected with this, this cable and you can set the KCS firmware uh, for example you can see this have two window uh, one is for AIO board and one is for the sensor and you can see uh, this is for the TR and this TR you just set the sensor as before you can see the sensor T1, T2, T3 and this is choose the, which GPIO you have connected with the TR board so this is the TR board after you set the TR board and you can click the monitor and you will see uh, the three temperature sensor have showed the value okay it's complete and also you need to set the protocol of IS485 uh, you can see you just enable this IS485 protocol uh, that have used by the mode bus use mode bus and this is address IS485 address I said to one if you have two TR or three TR you just set a different local address local address so after you uh, save it and we can back to this window for set the relay board uh, this board is AIO hybrid you can see AIO hybrid uh, maybe you have used another King Kong relay board and also you can see this have a sensor web page and this time we have added a new update you can see you can choose the sensor and choose the type the type you can choose TR TR this is the new board the TR is temperature and humidity convert board you can choose it here and this address one 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 that means you have set the TR board as for it for address you can see because this is one this is one so that you need to set the address is one 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 
and where a uh, display should in display you just uh, enable or disable and this one you can see because the address all is seen but the channel of the temperature one two three uh, what's this one two three means that back to this tr board and you can see the sensor and the sensor id one two three so you just feel the one two three at the AIO hybrid, you can see the channel you set to one, two, three. So that will be let the TR board and the setting uh, update to the AIO hybrid. So after you set it, so you just, uh, you just, you can click the save button. And now you can back to the monitor web page, this monitor web page, and you will see you, you can you can see at here the sensor also should at here uh, this three temperature sensor should at here so that means you have convert uh, this board temperature sensor the date uh, convert to is485 mode bus to the AIO hybrid so that you can use the temperature sensor for if TTD command or use in uh, KCS web page and use update to home assistant by MQTD auto discovery. So this is very powerful. And uh, so that can use a long distance cable for extend the sensor distance. Okay, so this is the function of King Kone TR. Thanks for watching.